from the News Channel 5 Network and Out and About Nashville. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello and happy holidays. Welcome to another edition of Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith. We have an incredible show for you tonight, okay? In the Entertainment Outlook, Chuck talks with Tony Award winning actor and singer Levi Christ about his new Christmas album and upcoming tour stop right here in Nashville. And then Pam interviews local author John Bridges about a new historical marker going up in downtown Nashville to honor the city's very first gay bar. But first, I'm leading us in our post midterms 2019 legislative look ahead buzz about with Chuck, Pam, and our very special guest, professor and activist Dr. Marissa Richmond. Welcome back. Good, good to, to see you. Good to be here as always. I understand this is a milestone show for you. This is my 30th episode. 30th uh, appearance. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. Good, good to be back. I think <laughs> 30 good ones, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we've got, we don't have a lot of time and we're going to let you do a lot of talking because you're the expert here today. But we've the, the election's over we know we've seen the national attention all the oxygen in the room's been sucked up by you know who but right. we really wanted to at least get your initial reaction to the blue wave what did you think was it a wave yes i believe it was i mean uh, the democrats picked up 40 seats in the house of representatives and even here in the state of tennessee every county at least shifted blue although we didn't win as many counties as we thought uh, but it was an amazing blue wave at the national level uh, and even in the senate races democrats got the majority of the votes uh, and then part of that blue wave, of course, is the rainbow wave behind right, that. Right, and right. So we're, I think it's a very exciting uh, election and uh, some very positive results around the country. It was a good feeling of hope that I think I know I desperately needed. So I, I was yes. really... Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think we all needed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to, to give the bulk of the time to the Tennessee local stuff because that's obviously where we live and breathe every day. So Bill Lee is going to be our governor and Marsha Blackburn is going to be our senator. <laughs> I, I know, everybody. Let's take a breath. <laughs> what do you, th just give me your initial reaction. Obviously, were you surprised? I mean, we kind of really. I was, uh, I was disappointed in yeah. the margins. I thought, yeah. yes. I, I really thought we had a chance of taking at least one, if not both. Uh, I was very disappointed in the margins in both uh, races. I thought we ran uh, some very good candidates yeah. and uh, we, we messaged, I thought, fairly well. Uh, things didn't work out for us. Um, why do you think, I just, yeah, no, go ahead. Well, I was gonna get why you. do you think the margins were so large, unfortunately? <laughs> Uh, I think a lot of it has to do with just uh, the nature of Tennessee politics and where we are, just as we saw the other day in Mississippi. Uh, Tennessee, we're, we like to think we're more progressive than we are. And certainly <laughs> in, in Nashville, Davidson County, we are, Shelby County too. But, but we have a lot of work to do in rural parts of the state and, and that map clearly shows it. Yeah, and we live in a bubble, we talk about it. Anybody we talk to, I had a cousin that was working for Bredesen and he'd never asked me to put a sign in my yard because I was, you know, our area, everybody was voting for the same two people. I was in Vegas watching the returns and I was so, uh, I was surprised at the margins, yeah. even if we weren't supposed to be. Uh, it was disappointing. It but, really was, because I mean, it, you know, Phil Bredesen had one statewide office here before already. You know, right. we kind of felt a little bit hopeful in that, you know, when he took over and, and Mackler dropped out and, you know, we talked right. to James about that and there was a lot of, so it did kind of feel like the margins were like, wow, really? That just seemed odd to me. But Well, well yeah. I think we felt like he was the best hope. Well, fair. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah he was the best if hope. If he can't win, I mean, we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so what do we think about Marsha going to the U.S. Senate? I mean, I, I... Well, she's been in the House for quite a while. 16 and, years, right? And, um, you know, I visited her offices in both Franklin and DC and um, uh, to be honest uh, we were better off with Corker. I 100% <laughs> agree with that I really do I, I in hindsight I wish he hadn't retired. Yes. <laughs> you know one thing that I found interesting though even you know before the election was even through the Green Hills and Valmede area I was just surprised quite frankly to see as many Blackburn signs in yards I mean yeah. I know it's, yeah. it's hard to gauge signs but yeah. it, it did seem to be a little barometer and I was surprised because usually those areas. Well, me are too. Do you remember that there was the bar downtown? Mm. One of the major bars across from the Bridgestone had a big Blackburn Hon sign yeah, on the, the side of the building. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. honky yeah. tonk. And then up in Madison, where I was driving around a lot, and I see the. I saw, it really kind of surprised me too yeah. that within the within the metro area there were so many signs. But Davidson County still went seventy yeah. percent for both right, Madison right. and Dean. Fair so point. Davidson, at least again, we we showed our blue a uh, blue blood here. <laughs> Fortunately, <laughs> for lack of a better term. <laughs> so now I also wanted to comment on so Glenn Glenn Casada, who we will remember. For from previous bathroom bills and other and other things is now going to be the speaker of the house here in Tennessee. I know deep breath again, <laughs> right? Uh, 
what do you think, is there going to be, what's the initial sort of response to that among people who follow the Hill, probably even more closely than we do? Well, I remember a few years ago when he tried to become speaker the previous time and he lost that race to yeah. Beth Harwell, there was an anonymous quote in the Tennessean from one of the Republicans who said, Glenn likes to run out into traffic and expects everyone to follow. <laughs> and um, I hope that they will kind of pull back a little and, and recognize that he doesn't necessarily represent the views of everybody in Tennessee. Uh, and I'm hoping that at least within the Republican caucus, a lot of them will 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 say, you know, we your your positions are not my district's positions, and because uh, clearly uh, they still the Republicans still have 73 votes, uh, they still have a super majority, and so there have been divisions within the caucus between fiscal conservatives and social conservatives, yeah. and I'm hoping at least the fiscal conservatives will fight back. Good, good. Now, I, we've got a couple minutes left, and I kind of wanted to maybe end with a sort of a positive note. We have our very first female African-American minority leader, um, Karen Camper, was elected. So, I mean, that, we, that's something, right? I mean, we've got to have something. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and Karen has been a fabulous ally for the LGBT community. Exactly. Uh, I'll tell you a short story. In yeah. 2012, we were at the Democratic Convention in Charlotte, and I was at the LGBT caucus, and Karen came and was, was in that room. Uh -huh. And at one point, they asked veterans, and I think she served in the Marine Corps, and she got up on the stage and so afterwards I was like wait a minute are you part of our community and she said no but my best friend came out as gay and she went through hell and I decided I was gonna fight for everybody Aww. and I was like I wish we had more people like you so having her now as the, the minority leader uh, is going to be uh, important for women's rights for LGBT rights for on so many issues yeah. uh, she's passionate she's committed and I'm really thrilled and pleased by this pick well and I know uh, we've, we've got a little bit of time left and I know nobody has a crystal ball we got a few seconds but are you seeing anything coming down the pipeline as far as legislation in this first you know after the new year well the one thing uh, representative Cassidy has talked about is of course preempting the uh, the community oversight yeah, board com we've yeah. seen this over and over and of course with our non-discrimination law here in Nashville uh, I hope that they don't do that. Um, uh, they need to let uh, people in communities uh, run their own communities. Uh, I'm sick and tired of him stepping on the toes of local governments, both Memphis and Nashville in yeah. particular. Well, and, and we always like to joke about this, but it's, you know, the party of small government loves government whenever they can control what the cities are doing. Correct. <laughs> um, I did see where Mayor Browley had delayed a little bit of the implementation of that. I mean, there's nothing that you had heard about that in any regard to the new... Well, uh, the I think their plan is to have it up and running January 31st. Gotcha. Uh, and so they are working quickly to get uh, uh, people to, uh, to apply uh, for those appointed positions and uh, I was in a meeting uh, this week and people were talking about that and trying to recruit people to, to run for those positions so uh, I know that there is a real concerted effort around the community. Uh, you know we could always talk for the whole show <laughs> we're gonna have you back we're gonna hit 31 here pretty soon so don't, 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 don't go anywhere okay? Next week! <laughs> next week yeah. And when we come back Chuck's got Tony award-winning actor and singer Levi Kreis right here on Out and About Today so stay with us.